start. Assalamualaikum students. Uh, आज next lecture last uh, the topic हमने work out किया था that was uh, waves properties of waves wave motion. आज हम उसको further proceed करेंगे and uh, it's an important topic. What actually wave fronts are? How they are formed? How they are produced? Uh, use of that ripple tank. Ripple tank kya hota hai? And then uh, how these waves behave when reflection and refraction actually takes place. I mean, reflection and refraction kya hota hai? And in deep water, shallow water, you have all the concepts that we have to study. So let's start with what the concept of wave front actually is. What wave fronts are? So we came across a number of terms. This way, a ke ray. What the fun never wave per day. But wave front. I think we are discussing this term for the first time. Now, what wave front actually is? A diagram and I roughly to understand the concept. But before that, a cortex. Sources which produce light. Usually, jo sources are which produce lights, they are spherical. Agar aap uh, work out karo what you have uh, studied in your lower grades. Jab bhi aap ek source banate ho luminous, for example, it's a sun. So it's a spherical body. And if you are asked to draw rays, jo is the orient. So whenever you have a spherical body, rays are emitted in all possible directions. Rays can be looking. They are emitted in all possible directions like this. It's come out whenever the source is spherical, it will emit rays in all possible directions. Sorry directions, not in a particular direction. Though we know light travels in a straight line, but the, the source is spherical, it will propagate light in all the directions. That's why usually after they cover the bulb uh, uh, tube lights and they all have curvatures. Why they have curvatures? Because light propagates in a straight line or when we have curved surfaces, they are emitted in all directions. So if we have a point source, it's going to a spherical source or point source we can say the point and large number they go, it's a spherical shape. So point source means the spherical body. Spherical body with the W rays emit only that they are emitted in all directions. Number one. Rays one other day like this, so can they whenever rays are emitted from any spherical body, they are actually the radial lines. You know, rays and the actually radial lines of the What radial lines actually are? Yani they are forming the radius. I have a circle but now the side lines can they are forming the radius of the circle. So in short, subsequent is if we have a luminous source and it's a spherical. Rays are emitted in all possible directions. And what these rays are actually? They are the radial lines. Number one. Number two, wave fronts go. Uh, I'm going to discuss the uh, concept of okay? your radial lines or rays. Wave fronts get a constitution. Teen diagrams are definitely up there. For example, I have three spherical sources. I'm just making up to Jani uh, Pechani or Aapke Nye Sabse important uh, in diagram Hoi Aapke Nye Definitely Aapke Nye Khosh Ho Lengi Kya? This is a source, a point source Is Pese Mehmet Karta Wave If I show wave is emitted from this source It is shown like this So many catch you this work Mehmet Karta Vishho Ki A wave is the point source there? Ray show curve, a single ray. It is shown like this. Or a gap ki sabse, Gani Pichani cheese, the definite that is going to inspire you is Chiki Dega. Diagram to just symbols up and they can be. That is for your Wi Fi. Right? You can't live without it. This is actually the wavefront. 
Now what this wave front is and how it is formed, ये चीज that what we have to discuss. So अगर मैं किसी भी point source से point means the spherical, spherical source से waves की emission show करूँ, ray की emission show करूँ और wave fronts, the waves are shown like this. We all know it's a transverse waves consisting of crest and truss. This is the ray which is traveling in the straight line, and this is the wave front. What wave front is we take then? What is ray actually? Wave is produced. I mean, last lecture we have seen that wave is produced by the traveling disturbance of the particles. When particles are traveling, the disturbance causes a wave. And when these particles are propagating, actually they are carrying energy. That is called the wave motion. Direction of that energy, जहाँ पे वो carry हो रही है, that is shown with the ray. तो ray भी एक तरीके की imaginary line है जो हम draw करते हैं क्या बताने के लिए? In which direction energy is carried from the source? Wave produced होती है whenever we have a point source, we have a wave. Wave से we get the ray. What ray actually shows? It shows in which direction the wave is carrying energy actually. And what these wave fronts actually are? These are also the imaginary lines, and why and how they are drawn, those are our seeds. Go discuss it. So we will draw one more diagram for that. Once you are done with all these concepts, then I will be giving you the comprehensive definition for the wave field. Let's start. We are discussing point source at the moment. Now huh? it's spherical. Let's draw one more diagram. This is your spherical source, or it's a point source. First of all, this was a catchy emitory waves. If it's point source, so waves are emitted in all directions because these are rays. What rays are actually showing? Rays are actually showing the direction in which energy is carried. मगर यही ना जो भी energy one wave was formed. Wave. This is the point source. Waves are emitted. How waves are emitted? They are emitted in all the directions. And one more thing, whenever waves are emitted. So usually, हम अगर emit करेंगे तो we will emit crests first from all the points on this spherical source. Crest how? Like this. This wave is propagated forward. Like this. Like this. Like this. And onwards in all directions because we all when we have a point source, rays are emitted in, waves are emitted in all directions, all possible. These points on the waves are called crests because whenever, whenever source emits a waves, so आपके पास हर point से crests emit होंगे. Crests, crests are the points of the waves which are in the same phase. क्या ये सारे crests same phase में ही हैं? Last class के अंदर हमने वो क्या और क्या था और actually phases. यानी ये सारे points from the source same displacement. Same direction, same velocity, everything is same. But we say all these crests are in the same phase. Men, all the crests go to same phase. Men, they go locate where they come. When I locate all these crests, I get this circle, and this is the imaginary lines which are joining all the points on the wave which are in the same phase. We get what? We get a wave front. This imaginary line which is showing. The locus of all the points which are in the same phase on the wave is called what? A wave front. Now, we crest joint here. How do you tell it? These are the troughs. These troughs, source is same. The sub troughs, same distance. The source is same. In the one point, locate the troughs. Like this, we get it in the wave front. So, what actually wave front is? Wave front is locus of all the points on the wave which are in the same phase. And if we have a spherical source, the source of what is it? Our pass. This is the spherical source. Spherical means a ball-like. It's not a circle. It's three-dimensional. Spherical source, or we may call it a point source. So waves are emitted in all the directions. Waves are emitted in all the directions. So here, my pass away. The blue colors I have drawn here. These are the waves, and they are carrying energy along with them. 
you know circles mein mark kiye hain these are what these are these spherical lines which are joining all the points of the wave which are in the same phase and these imaginary lines that i have drawn are called wave fronts at the moment source is a spherical so what the shape of these wave fronts are the shape of these wave fronts is also spherical so these wave fronts are actually called spherical wave fronts so from where you get these spherical wave fronts you get these spherical wave fronts if source is spherical right now i am talking about a luminous source light ki baat kar raha light luminous source wave fronts but ye to sab light invisible dikhti nahi but we are drawing them practically isko kaise show kare so in place of this spherical point source jo ke for example कोई भी ह्यूमनस लाइन में बर्ब हो सकता है इसको हम प्रैक्टिकली कैसे शो करें तो कहते हैं इन सब चीजों को प्रैक्टिकली लेबोरेटरी में शो करने के लिए वी यूज एन एपारेटस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड अ रिपल टैंक यही सब चीजें हैं जो इमेजिनरी हम एक लाइट की फॉर्म में कर रहे हैं लाइट व्हिच इज इनविजिबल बट दिस इज हाउ फॉर्मेशंस ऑफ वेव फ्रंट्स एंड वेव्स एक्चुअली टेक्स प्लेस ये चीज हम बुक लेवल पे एंड व्हाट यू आर फाइंडिंग हियर के वेव फ्रंट्स आर परपेंडिकुलर टू द वेव्स जो वेव्स बनती हैं वेव फ्रंट्स हमेशा उसके परपेंडिकुलर होते हैं एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अ रे व्हाट इज द रे द रे एक्चुअली शोस द डायरेक्शन इन व्हिच वेव्स आर कैरीइंग एनर्जी अराउंड देम सो इफ आई ड्रॉ अ रे द रे कैन बी ड्रॉन लाइक दिस इन व्हिच डायरेक्शन वेव इज कैरीइंग एनर्जी इन द डायरेक्शन इन व्हिच दे आर प्रोपेगेटिंग दिस वुड बी द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द रे दिस इज व्हाट रे इज This is what ray is. So, what actually ray is? Ray shows actually the direction in which wave is carrying energy. So, source emits actually wave. The locus of all the points on the waves, which are in the same phase, they constitute wave fronts. And then, the direction in which that energy is carried is shown with the help of rays. This is the brief introduction. Source in this case is the spherical. The type of wave fronts we get is called what? Spherical wave fronts. Light ke hi concept se agar hum dekhe, source is spherical. These spherical wave fronts, after covering a huge distance like this, these wave fronts will proceed further like this. these spherical wave wave fronts are proceeding further the portion of these wave fronts after covering a huge distance a portion of these wave fronts is nearly plane and these wave fronts are referred as heavy wave fronts so ye wave fronts kya banta hai ye wave fronts hum aap pass karate hain plane wave fronts this is the actual concept because i am talking about light at the moment but in our books plane wave fronts and spherical wave fronts jo uh, ripple kind can produce ki hai unki jo sources hai wo kya hai wo bhi main aapse share kar dunga actual concept is if we uh, luminous source ki baat kar raha hu light ki if we have a spherical luminous source usually luminous sources are spherical the wave fronts are right on they are spherical wave fronts they are propagating in a forward direction after covering a long distance a portion of this wave front is nearly plane and these wave fronts are called what plane wave fronts number 2 rays in case of a spherical wave front rays are actually what the radial lines rays actually radial lines What radial line means? That means our point source is coming in. And when we are talking about these plane wave fronts, what are rays? Rays are now parallel lines. There, when we have a point source, wave fronts are spherical, and rays are what? The radial lines. Here, when we are talking about plane wave fronts, 
these are the rays and what actually rays are? rays are parallel lines so when we talk about that rays are traveling parallel it means they are coming from a far distance and when they are the radial lines they are very close to the source light ke andar hum isi tarike se ray diagram lenses mein draw karte hain when source is very far away the rays are coming as a parallel lines though sources static which is producing light so how many types of wave fronts we have the topic that we have to start is what actually wave front is hope you have an idea now so what actually wave front is wave fronts are the imaginary lines on the wave so what are the wave fronts imaginary lines on the waves and how can we define it comprehensively it's a locus of all the points which are in the same phase on the wave wave pe maujood tamam wo point jo same phase mein sab ko locate kar lo you get a wave front how many type of wave fronts we have we have two types of wave fronts number one the spherical wave front and second a plane wave front spherical wave fronts usually generated from spherical sources plane wave fronts they are not generated actually they are the portions of the spherical wave where they are far away from the source when we are talking about plane wave fronts rays are the parallel lines and when we are talking about the spherical wave fronts rays are the radial lines actually hope you are getting the concept practically if you want to produce these waves in water so what we will do we up is say jab hum kuch samajh aate hain in our books it's written as if we have a dipper and it's a spherical yani in the spherical dipper it's connected with the motor this dipper moves up and down ye kaun sa dipper hai this is the spherical dipper this is spherical dipper is moving up and down using what using a motor so if you have a spherical dipper and this dipper is dipping in water what you will be getting you will be getting spherical wave fronts like this right and actually waves are producing and locus of all the points which are in the same phase so this is actually a wave which is actually generated by this dipper and these are the imaginary lines these are what the wave fronts if we have a spherical dipper so the wave fronts bante hain wo kaun se bante hain those are spherical wave fronts in our books it's written like this so that is the general concept if a luminous spherical source is any light ki baat kar raha hu but hum lab mein kaise bana sakte hain like this now what about plane uh wave fronts wo kaise banenge if we have a plane dipper a plane dipper is somewhat like this i mean so plane dipper this is the handle again same it's moving up and down this is a plane dipper ya straight dipper aap kya sakte hain isko this is the straight dipper again this is moving up and down in water with the help of a motor so actually they will produce what they will produce plane wave fronts plane wave fronts means they will produce plane wave fronts like this these are the direction of waves plane wave fronts are produced like this and why and how they are produced actually waves are emitting like this so these are the waves the locus of all the points which are in the same phase these are what these are plane Wave fronts. 
So these plane and spherical wave fronts can be generated in laboratory using what? In laboratory. This is what they can center. In laboratory, we can produce these spherical and plane wave fronts using a ripple tank. A ripple tank we use to use Yes, spherical or plane wave fronts form this. But the complete concept is if we have light segment link, so light, spherical source, so we have a plane or spherical, and if we have a spherical source, so plane wave fronts generate many of them. These spherical wave fronts, after a long distance travel, can be about in spherical wave fronts, the portions here are nearly plane, so they are plane wave fronts. So hope you have an idea. But in laboratory, we need individual place. Can I? Laboratory means a small scale look. अब मैं कोई फाइनाइट से मूनलाइट तो मेरे पास इतना बड़ा लाभ नहीं है कि फाइनाइट से लाइट्स आएं तो हम किस तरीके से प्लेन और स्पार्कल को एट द मोमेंट फॉर्म कर सकते हैं तो प्लेन और स्पार्कल वेव फ्रंट्स को फॉर्म करने के लिए वी बी यूजिंग स्पार्कल डिपर्स एंड स्ट्रेट डिपर्स स्ट्रेट डिपर्स विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग व्हाट प्लेन वेव फ्रंट्स एंड स्पार्कल डिपर्स विल बी प्रोड्यूसिंग स्पार्कल वेव फ्रंट्स एंड व्हाट एक्चुअली वेव फ्रंट इज इट्स द लोकस ऑफ ऑल द पॉइंट्स व्हिच आर इन द सेम फेज ऑन द वेव लोकस of all the points on the wave which are in the same phase and what phase is you have an idea how many types of wave fronts we have two types of wave fronts and the most important point is that wave fronts are always perpendicular to the wave wave front samesha waves ke perpendicular hote hain or in other words wave fronts are always perpendicular to the ray to ray or wave front hamesha Perpendicular. So, wave Whenever wave is produced, it is propagated forward, and that forward direction actually shows the direction of ray. So, this is a brief concept of what actually wave front is. Hope uh, you have an idea. And uh, next topic, for uh, some ripple tank or uh, equation, which we call the wave equation, V is equal to lambda f. डिराइव करते हैं कैसे दो तीन स्टेप्स हैं एंड देन हम आगे प्रोसीड करते हैं कि व्हाट विल हैपन व्हेन दीज वेव ट्रैवल्स फ्रॉम डीप वाटर टू शेलो हाउ दैट रिफ्लेक्शन एंड रिफ्रैक्शन एक्चुअली टेक्स प्लेस तो कहते हैं वेव्स प्रोड्यूस करने के बहुत सारे मेथड्स हैं बट इन लेबोरेटरी यू कैन प्रोड्यूस दीज वेव्स इन रिपल टैंक एंड यू कैन स्टडी द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द वेव और कौन सी प्रॉपर्टीज हमारे सिलेबस में जो हमने पढ़नी है रिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ द वेव एंड रिफ्लेक्शन तो वो हम इंशाल्लाह ताला नेक्स्ट लेक्चर के अंदर इसको वर्कआउट करेंगे थैंक यू होपफुली आपको कांसेप्ट समझ आया होगा टेक केयर